Hello and welcome to Monday's stream with Pokemon Platinum Randomized. Um, last time we were making our way through this area and I, oh yeah, I'm going to click back on here. So yeah, I um, hope everyone's okay as we get on to do this. That's not a good matchup. Right off there, is it? Um, hopefully this this will be a good. I don't still not. It looks like. A good, I cannot talk. Well, that happened, but that was fine. Um. So yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Hi Sozzy. Uh Discord is open. Because we got things happening. Uh, I don't know, that's just like I. Uh, I don't know, I'm not with it anymore. <laughs> then. When was I ever with it? That's the big question. And I know you're there. Hi. Hi, Owen. Um, knowing that I'm not going to be able to sleep for the next week. Why? Because of what I put in the Discord. Don't say yet. Did you not read it? When I posted it. Oh! Yeah. So. Sure, you gotta sleep then. Come on. It's like June fifth. And, but knowing, Susie, the excitement. <laughs> Plus Sweet. that press thing is gonna happen overnight tonight. Because oh it's happening at about 2 a.m. for us, the press event thing, so. Oh, crap. Yay, I am gonna be broken. Don't break yourself. But, but, but. Mm, but. Being... Oh. What? I didn't realize what I said there, I went, uh. Uh, 7.5 out of 10, so he's not uh, with it? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm the one that's not meant to be with it. I know. Is that the thing? Um. So, what has Susie been doing today? Um. Napping and actually, just before seven, we watched the entire well, the entire episode so far of Taskmaster. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> why haven't we watched this show before? I don't know, but as I say, the place they're doing the where it's all the train stuff, I know where that is because it's uh, about half an hour from here. Yeah, so. Yep, yeah. <laughs> it's just like you were near my home. Kind of. That was great. That's not the first time though. Yeah. Uh, there's an earlier series. They're in um, 
Chesham Town Hall, and that's the next town over if you go south. Yeah. So yeah, they they rec uh, record a fair bit, and you know, around like the area here, it seems. And Paul is just making a fool of himself. He is. It's. Although that that whole thing about watching a chaser get fired. Yeah, he kind of redeemed himself. Though. Oh yeah, but still, it, it's just... Yeah. It, it was ridiculous. Mm. Was like, Although, uh... tell you what, you've seen all the episodes so far then? Yes. I was expecting someone to nick Alex's caravan for that apology task. I wasn't expecting other things that happened for half that apology task. Or, you know, if, uh, like in my head I was just going to be like, one of them is either going to tow it away... Yeah. Or roll it over. Hey, Joe. Because those are the... Ob I mean, those are the obvious ones. Oh, yeah. But still, like, have Alex come outside and find his caravan home has been... Uh, flipped. How are you doing, Joe? Oh, hell. That's what is Susie doing? I'm playing Terraria. Mm. So Again. The, so the Minecraft knockoff. It's not a Minecraft knockoff. The fact, yeah, but you say it's not and then you're not trying to defend it. In all honesty. It, it's like Minecraft, but like 2D Minecraft, but that. It is pretty good, but then they both love both of them equally the same. Okay. <laughs> what you been up to, Joe? And if you say you've been playing a Minecraft knockoff, it better be something different to the one Susie's playing. Roblox? No, I just said the clo the the one that came to my mind is Lego um Oh Worlds. Lego Worlds, yeah. I mean, I mean, literally, you're just like, you can buy Minecraft Lego sets. That's just how. So does that mean Minecraft was a Lego ripoff? Um. Because it basically, no, because it doesn't have the same blocks that Lego does, though. No. Because Lego has the sloping blocks in it and whatnot. And curved blocks. Oh yes, it will. Yeah, you were playing Smash? Okay. So. Well, that TM's not worth it. So, yeah. Anything good doing going on for either of you two this week? Uh, birthday on Sunday. And that's just mm. mm. that I need to sort something once I get money. Ah, uh, the problems of funding things. Not really, but yeah. That's cool, Joe. Yeah, even if you haven't got anything going on, you know, it's still fine to, you know, you know, not have anything going on. Okay. <sighs> yeah, no. I got the uh, news that the new, that the new Warhammer paints are out in two weeks. Well, pre-orders in two weeks, so three weeks until release. Ooh. So all those fancy new paints that they've made. Can't wait to have a go with them. Uh, but yeah. 
Plus, um, let's check. Um, yeah, go and pre-order the 8th. And release on the 15th. Ooh! So I get to end E3 week by being able to buy brand new paints. <laughs> Not what you'd expect I'd be spending money on at the end of E3 week. No. Though to be fair, I'm probably going to go to game on the 14th and pre-order pretty much every single game I want to pre-order. Because that way, um, anything that Nintendo Treehouse reveals, I can you know, add those in, otherwise I'd go the following day from the, uh, the Nintendo presentation. So, yeah. Though, speaking of presentations, if anyone isn't aware, next Wednesday we have a Pokemon Direct. So, yay, at least Susie's um, excited. Now Susie's just going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> no, I am. Because as soon as you announced it, I was like, yes. Yep, so, uh, I can't remember how long they said it was going to be. I think some, I think I've seen some reports it's meant to be like 40 minutes or so. So. 40 minutes? Oh, yeah. Bear in mind, like I said, this is what I believe some reports have said. I I cannot remember what was being said. Um, yeah, I can't go to the correct websites because I'm typing the wrong thing in. Which is not helpful. Um... Let's see. Yeah, so... Oh no, 15. Okay. I don't know why the... F oh, the 40 thing is for something else. Sorry. So yeah. Uh, Pokemon Direct will happen at... Well, 2pm 2, uh, 2 British. Uh, yeah, run for approximately 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So, oh, this because them um, like some of the... Get, you know, game journalist websites said they're going to be running, you know, a 40 minute and um, thing alongside it. That's what I was, that's what I was getting mixed up with. But yeah, um, and also notes 6 a.m. PT, 9 a.m. ET. So anyone who knows what that means, um, that's when you'll be able to watch it. <laughs> Evil on a roast so, yeah, I'll consider that Pokemon announcement like a late Pokemon. Uh, you're cutting. So, oh no, Discord's going weird for me. I've been having a lot of problems with Discord lately. Okay, there we go. I might also need to reload. But yeah, as you were saying, um, I'm considered the uh, Pokemon uh, direct. Literally, like a late birthday program. Mm. But then, like it was tonight, there is this weird Pokemon uh, business conference thing that's meant to be being live streamed. Yeah. Um, hold on. So. Yeah, Pokemon press conference. Uh, beginning at 6 p.m. PT, 9 p.m. ET, 2 a.m. Ah, oh, right, here we go. So, 2 a.m. on the 29th. Okay, so it's happening Wednesday American time, Thursday Japan and Europe time. Okay. Boo! I demand you operate under Japan time. Uh, wait, six, what, AM or PM for which bit? The, di uh, the direct or the press conference? Wait, what are we on, 27? Oh no, so yeah, Tuesday, 
29th. What? Um, yeah, Wednesday. Oh, no, so yeah, so Wednesday, 2 a.m. will be the press conference. So. The direct is happening at. The direct is happening at the a.m. and the press conference is happening at p.m. That's the best way to look at it. Um. Bit of really weird. But oh, I saw an item, saw an item, saw an item. Answer the question. Okay. Um, trophy garden. Look at the more information that was put out alongside it in a second, just quickly because I. Yeah. Checking bins is usually worth it. Focus sash. Right, let's take on all these trainers. Um, so yeah, the as it notes. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it's, yeah, we don't really. Yeah, it's just announcing Pokemon Company want to give out information ahead of the E3. It's which also makes me wonder if we're actually going to really get any information on the games during E3. Probably not. If we're getting something like that. Yeah, I mean, we might see something on the Treehouse. Yeah. Because. Treehouse usually gets like some demo plays or whatever, so. The press conference, it just, uh, they just says, will cover a number of topics of interest to Pokemon fans. So obviously they're going to be just maybe giving like a state of play for what's going to be going on with the franchise for the moment. In before we get a Pokemon Battle Royale game. Because. Because stupidity. Or something <laughs> like a Pokemon version of Overwatch. God. I mean, that one's probably more likely where you just play as different Pokemon against, you know, against another team. Most likely, yeah. Uh, we are Not really much else to say at the moment because it's all rather dull and boring otherwise. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Th there isn't really anything else at all. Hate it when we've got nothing else to bring up. I'm just trying to think. Um... Pokemon fighting games are a new genre. Um, 
Where we've had fighting games, we've had puzzle games. Um, what else could we have? Uh, Pokemon horror game, which is just literally uh, looking underneath Mimikyu's costume. <laughs> oh, the horrors. Yep. Well, it is said anyone that looks underneath will die. Yeah. He's quite cute, though. Yep. Hmm. Um, surprise announcement that we're getting a Gen 8 Pokemon uh, added to Smash. As one of the DLC characters. That would be pretty awesome. Though, so given like the, as it was, it was actually an interesting thing to bring up. Um, uh, Sakurai has put a book out in Japan. Oh, has he? Yeah. Um, him talking about, you know, like it's just like his sort of like little memoir sort of thing. Oh, and nice. he brings up, you know, things from development of the Smash games. Yeah. And. He is totally against DLC. Really? Yeah. The only reason there is DLC in the Smash series now is because of high ups. Um, yeah, you know, at Nintendo, mostly, yeah. mostly, you know, shareholders putting pressure on them. Oh crap! That's not nice. Yeah, but yeah, Sakurai is just not for it. Which is why, um, in particular, like for um, Ultimate's DLC, he hasn't made the decisions on the characters. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, most of the decisions were apparently made using the Smash Ballot. Yeah. Um, it's also why they decided to bring every character that had been in the series back. Because, as we're all aware, Bayonetta won the Smash Ballot. Mm. But she didn't. Bayonetta was the um, biggest one that they could get. Oh. Technically, Snake was the most requested character that was eligible to go, you know, for them to use. There were some characters apparently that were even more popular but did not meet the criteria for even consideration at any point to go into Smash. Yeah. So... But yeah. People were just demanding Snake came back. Um, but Konami at the time just wasn't playing ball or whatever. It was just... Basically, they just couldn't get permission to use him. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's why uh, he was not in the base game. Yeah, you know, otherwise he would have been there. But yeah, for ultimate because, and then a few other like missing characters were requested, but like decisions were sort of pushed to be more go for characters that you know make the ballot character someone new. Hence mm. then why Bayonetta won out of the new you know, thing. But, yeah. Purely is a case. So yeah, they use that, um, like I say, uh, ballot listings as a reference for when going into Develop Ultimate. Uh, that they push to make certain that every character came back and bring back characters who are missing. However, he also notes about, like, why every single stage did not return. And they only went for, like, a greatest hits lineup when it came to stages. Yeah. Is, as, he's, well, as he put it simply, 
the amount of work that is, you know, is needed for everything is more than what anyone thinks it is. It's a great deal of work. Yeah. So, also, Smash Brothers Ultimate, he began work on when he was on his three month holiday. Yeah. He was planning ideas out in his head while he was on holiday. Oh my god, that man. I know. The... 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 Yeah. There's nothing I can say apart from. <sighs> Sakurai, you need a hobby. He does. You need... But then, I su again, I suppose his hobby is actually just literally making video games. Enough, you mate. need a hobby that gets your mind off of it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Because as soon as he's he was done with Smash Four, he was just his mind just went to, what can I improve for next time? Just. Jeez. I'm... I think I'm getting an idea of the Pokemon here, so rough idea of who I think we'll catch. Oh wow, mm. Sloki. That's not what I was thinking of, but but yeah, um, yeah, he's uh, but like he's also <coughs> mentioned he got to play a very early version of Breath of the Wild. Oh, that's how far ago they began production on Smash Ultimate. Um, so he could then up start updating Link's, um, like, behaviour and his, you know, looks. Oh, damn, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, apparently, if, like, there's a couple of other games he played, like, early builds of. Um, just so he got a feel of, like, where, where the franchise is going to be and whatnot. There you are. So... Yeah, there's some stuff that... And, well... Here comes the, like, the one of the worst things he's admitted. Oh, when it does come to some of the development things. His wife is a bad influence. Oh. Although she doesn't quite get the, you know, the criteria for how characters go into Smash. Yeah. Because apparently she'll just see things in the store and just, uh, you know, like mascots for all sorts of things and be like, how about putting them in the game? Aww. So, yeah. She's, uh, doesn't quite get it, but it's still funny at the same time. Well, but she's just sweet. like, but also that probably doesn't help him get not do it when he's not at work. I know. Oh, God. Uh, other little notes he brought out was, at the minute, um, balance on the characters is pretty good. That's good. Um, it's the one thing he has liked about the shift to online, that they can tweak the characters. Because even with the extensive testing they do, before launch, they always had found, like with, end, with the um, N64 and GameCube versions in particular, People will find things that they themselves just didn't find because, well, there's A, more people doing it, and B, more time. Yeah. So, um, he likes that on the fact that he can use online to adjust balance when there's some OP things. Yeah. Um, and at the minute, the, like, online win ratios with characters are extremely close. That's a good thing. There are still a couple of, like, characters leading the pack, but, like, the characters that are winning the most and the characters that are winning the least, it's not too far of a gap, so. Uh, we've got a Nidoran female. What are we naming her? Ooh, um... I have no idea. I liked how when I was talking about the, uh, like, 
win and loss, the win ratios for characters and the whatnot. I was doing gestures in my hands to show like how they were meant to be close and it's just, I don't have a camera. It's alright, I couldn't imagine. You're probably just imagining Ida's arm waving. Yeah, most likely. That's not what I was doing. Any thoughts? Um, then. Nine. I think Joe's just fallen asleep. Nine. Sorry. Um. Taters. I have no idea. Oh, technically it's um, only Nidoran female. Nidorina and Nido Queen both can't breed. Oh. Yeah. Weird thing. That is pretty weird. Mm, damn. <laughs> jail. Although we already have a jail bait, that's the problem. Mm. Yeah, it's too close on that. So we named our waylord Jailbait. Ah, remember the time? Remember all that time last week breeding a waylord in the skitty? I don't wanna. I can't do that with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Just because. Oh boy, why did we do that? Because we can. Yeah. Because we could say we made the monstrosity. Oh, it's horrifying. Uh, I'm just trying to think of some geeky. Oh, actually, I know. Guinevere? No, I was thinking, like, because uh, Joe thinking of jail. How about Jill? Hmm, actually, that could work. Because at least then that's also go keeps to our what is attempting to be like geeky naming system. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, then put a space. There we go. We have Jill Valentine from Resident Evil on our team, or at least you know available. <laughs> uh, I'll get rid of this poison. But yeah, um, yeah. There's just some other little insights from Sakurai is um, in his stuff in that sort of memoiry thing. Um, he just doesn't use online for uh, feedback and whatnot. That's quite fair and honest, eh? Mm, that's just because he wants to make certain the game is well. The game is just. It's just so he doesn't get, like, his ideals for what he wants the game to be um, twisted by trying to pander to what people are telling him to do. Because he feels that actually is not what makes a game good if you try just making it pure fan service from the fan's point of view. If you're going to make fans, you know, games the fan service... You need to make it from your side. Weird sort of way around it, but yeah, I, I kind of get where he's coming from. Yeah. Plus, I guess it would also mean he'd probably not have as you know things as balanced or anything like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much. I uh, see. So, yeah, guess what is sort of the way he's trying to say it. Obviously, bear in mind, I'm reading. I was, you know, sort of reading off a translation of some highlights of the um, stuff he wrote. 
may not have actually been the book. Um, it might have just been like a big article in a magazine, but you know what I mean. It's just like this really long thing he had done. Or even like maybe in a little mini book that was thrown in or something. Yeah. But yeah, it was like I said, just like these notes from it. Um, also, Smash Brothers on the 64. Um, no one was willing to believe in that in the idea. Damn. Yeah. At least, you know, when he was going around pitching it to um, the higher-ups at Nintendo. Yeah. And it, it's... Um... Hold on a second. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, um... It was actually Miyamoto that got the game to start production. Nice one, Miyamoto. Yeah. Uh, well, I say start. But yeah, he got. He he had um, Iwata. No Iwata. Sorry, um, we had we had, Miyamoto had a word with Iwata. Um, obviously Iwata not as head. Yeah, you know, wasn't head of a Nintendo at the time, but um. But yeah, he had to sort of, sort of persuaded Iwata to sort of um, give Sakurai that sort of little bit of um, sort of software support, and a proto version of the game was made. Nice. Yeah. Though the prototype version of the game did not have any of the um, Nintendo characters in it. Because the original version of the game was going to be like all like an all new style, you know, all new characters thing. Yeah. Um, because like those wireframe character models we see when we do like the bit, yeah, when you did like the the uh, ten man smash, hundred man smash, etc. Those were just stand-ins for characters at the time, and then they were going to. If they got the game approved, they would have made, you know, characters to fit what um, the idea would have been for what style of look they want on the game. But, yeah, when pitching it, um, even with the demo, oh, oh, Rosarade, Rosarade, um, it still wasn't quite making it through. And... Yeah, between Iwata, Miyamoto, and Sakurai, they came up with the idea of um, putting the uh, Nintendo characters in. Yeah. Which, even with that, which is what got the game to go into production, the at time heads of Nintendo were still very skeptical because they didn't. They weren't certain if people would take to the idea of Nintendo characters beating each other up. So... Yeah. But yeah, like I say, it, it, it's, it, it's done it. So... Yeah, he, yeah, he's done it. He also there is a little joke in there that he did try the uh, PlayStation version of Smash, and basically he wanted to. So apparently, he wanted to just ask um, higher ups if it's just like, should we just make it for Sony? <laughs> I mean that would have been funny. It, it Nintendo been. making some money off a of a Sony console. <laughs> Just like, yeah, Sony, you want your own version of Smash? We'll make it for you, but we take fifty percent of the money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's all pretty good for uh, 
what he's been uh, for his stuff. Let me just check something in the Pokedex. Less. So, okay, I was wondering if I'm catching females, snowboard. Oh well. Let's catch a penguin. So, think about what we're gonna call her. Feet. Is there any particular names from that film that could be used? Oh. Or is there literally no names to them? It's just Penguin 1, Penguin 2. Gonna stay in the ball. Wow, this thing does not like the idea of an ultra ball. Oh, woke up. Ah, you got dive. Uh, that's not good. So as they think of some penguin names. Well, I can think of the names of the penguins in the Penguins of Madagascar. But they're not girls, are they? No, they're not. Um. Well, I can also I can think of uh, King DDD. Why did that one? Well. DDD's Queen a guy, DDD. but the name sounds female, which is the weird bit. I know, that's why. Mostly because I think of Dexter's Laboratory and DD. Dee Dee. Uh, and you're a friend called Dee. Come on. Oh, cut! Are you going to be Nebby? Nebby! <laughs> Get in the back, Nebby! Susie hasn't even played the old... The Gen 7 games out the heck. No. So is he. Play a Gen 7 game if you're gonna say that. No! Okay, yes I will. One day. You know I will. Susie won't. <laughs> Avoiding me, Dark Void. Oh no, the weapon's nearly down. Uh, 
This thing might be might become nebby. Oh dear. That was only unbreakable anyway. Come on, please get in the ball, please get in the ball, please. No! Wow, it woke up after one turn. There goes a weapon. Ooh, we may have a problem now. Freya, did you have Thunder Wave? <laughs> Please say you did. Yes, you did. Oh, now we catch you after you murdered one of our guys. Hey, Jake. Well, not Yo. quite murdered, but you took down, took down the weapon. You annoying piece of... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm sorry for Furious clicking on my end. Yeah, that is actually rather irritating. Sorry. I moved my mouse further away. And that's still going crazy. Yes. How are you doing, Jake? Oh my god, how many is I hope the cats are looking at you just like, Human, stop it. I can't when I'm playing Terraria. What are kitties doing? Sleeping. They probably have their paws over their heads, just like, uh, human. Why are you making so much noise? Human, you're gonna drive us mad and we're gonna put our claws in you. Nah. You wouldn't do that, wouldn't you, you fluffy one? <laughs> just look, probably just looks at you like, human. the image so I know what I'm using for the next segment. Fly and rocks. Default and rock smash. Right. Oh yeah. It's flat glass. Wait, what? That uh, item. Okay, let's have a check on our new Pokemon anyway that we caught. So, Order 66 is scrappy. With extrasensory, supersonic grass, not luster purge. So, that's not bad. Jill's got growth, poison powder, acid, poison sting, and suction cups. Then DDD's got Swift Swim, Dive, Gyrable, Mirror Shot, Iron Tail. Definitely think we can probably... Yeah. Oh, uh, jeez. I had to see that. Yeah, let's put them on. Hmm. Oh, Jailbait. We hate you so much. For all the annoying reasons. <laughs> the mean reasons. So a couple of members in the team over. Um. Rock smash as well. Mm, 
Roll all the way down. Yeah, are you okay there, Jake? Neither of you can learn Rook Smash, that's annoying. Hoping I wouldn't have to bring Weasel into the team. Hello, Pop Popple Days. Happy Days. Pop, is Pop Pop doing something fun? She's just asleep next to me, bless. Curled up. Mm, and Days? Daisy is on my bedroom floor right now. Nah, you just get on the bed. No, she won't. Days. Days. They were adorable and did sit, uh, curl up next to each other earlier. Is that Fly over here. Secret potion on the Psyduck. And off they will go. Now all I can think about, about Psyduck is a uh, detective Pikachu. But here comes the stupid thing. Cynthia what? was the one who gave us the secret potion to deal with the Psyduck, and yet she comes and meets us as soon as we deal with the Psyduck. What a lazy person. Ninja who's a nurse. Yeah, I guess you kind of need ninjas that heal people. Yep. Or heal other ninjas to be precise. Thank you for your um. Ninjarity? Yep. Um, let's send out Lord Helix. Susie, going to do anything special for her birthday? Mm, going out Saturday for dinner with a group of people. Mm, does this dinner involve alcohol? One or two. Susie's going to be drunk. I'm not. Susie will be drunk. I refuse. I actually refuse. <laughs> well then Susie wouldn't drink. <sighs> well, no, because I doesn't take one beer to get me drunk. Where's the armor fossil? No. There with random, but it does. But well, I, um, I'm just gonna wait for you to come on Sunday and just be like, oh, they bore me. The strongest thing possible. Nope. I'm broke. Joe thinks a sip's just going to be what gets you drunk. No. Kitties, you might just have to be ready to just be like, woman, we disown you. Nope, it's just dinner, one or two beers, and then I'll be back home again. 
only one or two beers yeah. of like big beers probably yeah. well if we never hear from Susie again honestly it's like go out at God knows what time and then come back up. One step. That's all that Look. took. Probably message you if loads of drama kicks off. You know I ain't oh, coming. Lisa. You know I ain't coming I to save you because I don't know where you are. I know, but drama always happens, so I like to... I'm going to turn my phone off. No. Don't turn your phone off. I'll turn my phone off, I think, on Saturday. <laughs> no. And I think I'll also oh. stay off Discord. But what if I want to message Princess? I'm still staying off um, phone Discord. Oh jeez, you had that move. Okay, I didn't do much damage. It's only 8 o'clock. It feels like I'm doing this longer. I think I'm really? breaking. Really? What? I think I'm breaking. Don't break. This is why you need sleep. I'm uh, breaking. Oh, don't break. No. Just, just, I, 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 I don't. Uh. I think I'm going to be completely broken playing Dark Souls later. Or is Susie gonna ditch me and nap? No. Well, I'm playing Terraria now. Oh, yeah. How many times do I have to kill for this? I'm trying to think about what else that uh, could be announced in this Pokemon um, bit to well tomorrow night slash early hours of Wednesday. Um, maybe the announcement of more of well, Gen Five coming into uh, Pokemon Go. That's alright, Joe. Because, yep. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. Um. Uh, I really don't know to say at the moment. Noodles. What? Noodles. 
Susie, you are so quiet. Taters? Well, that's not gonna help. Oh look, it's another guard chomp. Uh. I'm just gonna overkill this gibble. <laughs> Because there's another guard chomp or anyone gabite. Mm. Nope, 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 nope. Not for you. Uh, the weapon. Um, what I want to do on Wednesday, I think, is probably a good question. Certain we've got plenty of TNT. I don't know, we're going to be introducing her slowly. Oh, no, 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 it's not for her. Uh... It's for anyone that messes with her. Uh -huh. <laughs> because I'm then going to blow them to the. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm then going to blow them into oblivion. Also, can I have that um, explodey crystal? Explodey crystal, the end crystal. Oh, Nab has already said he might do something with that. Good, because I, I I I want some so I can make some death traps. <laughs> oh yeah, because I have so many games uh, now for my Switch. In physical form, I have had to buy. I had to buy a second uh, game case. Oh god, I need to buy a game case for mine. She's not been able to yet. Uh, games <laughs> sell them on their web store. Yeah. yeah so, because you've seen what I had. Yeah. Uh, so I had to buy a second one of them. Uh, though I got the uh, dark coloured one, so they didn't have the mm -hmm. clear one anymore. But, yeah, I have, um... Oh, look! It's the evolutionary line! Ooh! That, of, the, of all things for the randomizer to do, that's Did kind of amusing. Think? Yeah. So, yeah, I own... Uh, 26 games for the Switch in physical form. Yeah. 
And bear in mind, that's going to still be growing. Oh god, yeah. Bear in mind, though, how many games I have on my uh, in physical on my PS4. Two, four, six, eight. I have 43 games for the PS4 that are physical. I cannot think. How many I have that are physical? Um. But, uh, how many of them were uh, exclusives? Is the bigger question, though, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Um, so, oh, sorry, just no, one, two. Ah, come on, get back in there. This is awkward. <laughs> Pull the entire shelf out. Toxic uh, So I had, so I had two from that little bit that doesn't sit on the same shelf as the rest. Three. Back here, don't, don't, don't disappear. <laughs> ah, my shelf's failing. Sick. No, shelf. Ah. <laughs> oh, don't, don't do this. That's six so far. Um. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. So I have 11 exclusive to the PS4. Holy crap, nice. Uh, wait. Where is which? Um, one. You're technically not exclusive, you're technically not, you're technically not, you're technically not, uh, two, not, technically not, three, technically not, four, only five of my s games on the Switch are actually Switch exclusives. Yeah. But once I count the games that are not... Technic oh no, wait, no, it'd be four because I counted one game wrong. Let me go again. Uh, two, so one... Two... Wait, two... Where are I counted? Oh. 
開催をそれじゃなきゃいいのワンちょっといいのツー So th yeah, only three games, sorry, are, are actually Switch exclusive. But then, let's then go to Nintendo exclusive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, so it was four then, yeah, that are, sorry, Switch exclusive, but yeah, eight. Yeah, then it goes up to eight, where it's Nintendo exclusive. It, it would be nine, but, um, oh, sorry, it is nine, so I'm thinking of something else. So, yeah, there's nine games I have which are, um, yeah, Nintendo exclusive. I mean, yeah, still a bit behind the PS4, but then think how long the PS4's been around to the Switch. Exactly. Excuse me. And given some of my pre-orders, my Switch count is going to catch up very soon. Because I have... Um, Yeah, on pre-order, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which is an exclusive. Pokemon, well, obviously an exclusive. Astral Chain, which is an exclusive. Mario Maker 2, which is exclusive. So yeah, I've got at least four games that are exclusive to the Switch on order. Though I do have a fifth game on order, which is Doom Eternal, but that's a cross that's a multi-platform, so. Yeah. I was looking up one thing to try and work out something for Dark Souls to be done a little easier. Yeah. Turns out the armoured boars have a pretty decent weakness to poison. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Particularly uh, through pyromancy. Oh. But poison arrows and uh, poison knives are also still pretty good against them. I was just trying to work out a slightly easier way to get into Anolondo once we do we done the duo, so you know, taking yeah. on a certain um um because oh, I was gonna probably do the um DLC, aren't we? Yeah. But yeah, so there's uh, actually a way I, we should be able to get in without too many problems. Hi, Susie's mom. Pokes is hi, mom. Pokes? Poke. Hi, Pokes. 
Oh no, ice pond. Just oh boy, that's that was close. Alright. Hi. I'm good. We're gonna give you a welcome when you come to Minecraft. <laughs> she knows. Uh, it involves it'll involve explosions. That's the one thing. I, I also, yeah, I want to put on an explosive display for her entry. <laughs> Again, reasons I want those exploding crystals. Also, I've worked out something else that we want to get done. I think we need to upgrade the gulag. Okay. Um. Because come on, those the, the, the prisoners are going to have been breeding again. We need to make certain the prisoners have accommodation so they can stay being prisoners and not throw a riot. Because that's the last thing we want. We don't want a prison riot. No, we don't want one of those. Oh god. Uh, da -da -da. Go back into place properly. I was doing one thing today. I was on Bandai Namco's website just staring at the Dark Souls Trilogy Collector's Edition. <laughs> because it's not even out yet. Oh my gosh. The Dark Souls Trilogy Collector's Edition does not come out until um, July. For, at least for us. Yeah, that might help. Oh god, just turn up my headphones. Oh. Need that cute box with a daisy pop right next to you. Watch the pop-ups. But yeah, the. Daisy pop-ups are on the other side. Oh, there's daisy there for a moment. I couldn't see a pause. Pop-up. But yeah, um, oh. Hi, Pop Pop. What was I saying before your mum showed up? Um, that's a Yeah, I was just sitting at it on the website looking at it, just like. I want it, but the price. What's the price again? Five hundred. What? Ah! Mm -hmm. mm. Bear in mind, we get less than the Japanese version, mm -hmm. and theirs cost the equivalent of about four hundred and fifty. Just like, but but but, I I want it. I know. Oh my god. You also want to know one other thing that annoyed me while looking on the Bandai Namco or Bandai website as a whole. What? They list Gundam as something they bring uh, as a product thing, but you can't look at it because they don't have a web page for it on their European site. Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah, if you, um, like, just go on a Google and just, you know, go for, like, Bandai UK. Uh, we'll do 
Dark Souls Trilogy Collector's Edition. Oh, it comes out today. Wait, 6th. No, next month. 27th of next month. Not July. Oh, it's been dropped by 50 quid. Yeah, but that, that, that that's still pricey. Oh. Hold on. Unless... Oh, it's cheaper to buy the PlayStation version? But... 150 quid, I know, it's just like... You get the full soundtrack, that statue at the bonfire. The art book. Well, not quite an art book, but like a little guy, like an intro book to the trilogy. With like, yeah, you know, the art, a bit of like artwork and background on locations, and then that really... <laughs> it's annoying when you look at it. You w you wasted your money on the normal ver on that normal version of the trilogy, but just like the, the extras in I this make it seem Japanese. slightly better, but it's still overpriced because the Japanese version also came with bookshelf ends exactly. for you to store it all in. If you didn't want to keep it in the box. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> just like, no, I want. It, it, it sucks. It, it, it does suck. I know, because I'm just looking at it. Yeah, like I was saying, if you go on Google and just go to Bandai UK. Yeah. Uh, and then you go, then you just click on the bit at the top saying our brands. Don't click on any of the little like drop down ones, but just click on the bra our brands bit itself and scroll down. It lists Gundam. And yet you oh. can't click on it. You can also, it also lists Godzilla, but you still can't click on that either. <laughs> and it's just like... Why do you list it if it's not available here? I mean, I get if it's like a preset or something like that. But still, it's just like... That. It's just tormenting me. It's like, but, but, but I want Gundam! It, 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 it does kind of sound like, Hey, we've got something for you that you like, but at the exact same time we don't have something here that you like. At least their website is already updated to remove Power Rangers from the stuff they do. But Hasbro haven't updated their website yet to add it. Uh, Tropius, what are we going to name this big girl? I didn't see what gender she was. Uh, Tropius, I don't know. Um, you know me, I'm bad at naming things. Saucy! We've already, we've already proved that, because I've already said if I had a child, I'll name it Child One. You would not. No, I'd call it Morag. See, that's better. But what if it's a boy? See? See, you see, you got better namings there already. <laughs> So, <laughs> mostly because I'm naming them after Xenoblade characters. Surprised you didn't go for like Sharla for the for the first girl. Oh my god, actually, mm, that's not a bad idea. And then the second girl gets named Lorothea. Actually, no, that would be the naming oh god, system no. to use on twins, and the evil twin is called Lorothea. How do we know which one's evil? Uh. <laughs> You change the name by deed poll when they're old enough. <laughs> oh dear. This it, one's an evil one. We can't name it its original name. Can't keep the original name. You're now Lorothea. Child of Demon. <laughs> You're so doing. Um. Actually, you know what? Because tro what Tropius is, uh, sort of big flying tree 
thing, which actually has like, a bit of telethia-y designs. I'm going to go Lorothea. Oh my god. Even though I spelled it wrong, but just the idea. Look, geeky naming system. No, you've spelled it correct. Oh, yay! Why do you have to lean that close into your microphone? Oh, sorry. I'm watching on my phone and I was just like, I can't freaking see. <laughs> my phone's up against my uh, monitor. Kitties, I know you like playing with Susie's phone. Oh no. Pop pop. Playtime. Look at that happy phone. <sighs> Prone to wild stat changes. Uh, I do not like that ability. You're going into the not probably going to be used ever box. You down there, and I now need. Where are you? Just pick you up quickly. And no, no other button. Fly back there. Mm, new news. Uh, really? Hi, Kitty. Hey, Pops. Hey, Pop Pop. Who's a good little kitty? Hey, who's a good kitty? Who's a very good kitty? No, 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 don't go away. No, that's rude. Pop Pop. Pop, that's rude. Somebody says hello to you and you go away. Just... Pop Pop. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to eat. I'm not quite sure. Days. 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 You can get on bed now. Daisy is on the bed. Oh, hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Daisy. Oh, she's asleep. Just tickle her feet. I will do that when I'm in a safe location. <laughs> Susie is in a safe location. Not in this game. Oh. Oh god. I'm gonna say otherwise you'd. Uh... Like... Yeah, because otherwise you'd be in a safe location because you're in your bedroom. Also, I combed the kitties earlier, and they were just like human. Please. Wait. So, were they happy or not happy? Uh, not happy. It's like you need soft fur. Please. Kitties. I know. Like, don't be mean. Give kitties hugs. Susie pick Daisy up and give her hugs. She did that. I'm gonna get one hell of a protest though.
Kitty, 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 kitty. kitty. Uh, we're not going to let you blow up a town guy. Because, you know, blowing a town up is not a good thing to do. You just set a good example for children. Yeah. Which is hardly what I do, but, you know. It's still important. Okay, just Susie, give yeah. give Daisy hugs and tickle her little feet. So she goes, Ah, Hoopman, you love me. And then she goes, But Hoopman, I'm Kitty. I do kitty things. I am kitty, hear me meow. I am kitty, watch me kitty. Now it's time with kitty again. Mommy, I mean, what's going on? I mean, Poke, what's going on with the time? Hey, respawn. It's just cold half eight. I know, but it feels like... I uh, know, it, it feels a lot later than it is. Yeah. Maybe it's just because most of the stuff today has been idiots arguing about stupid things. I... Uh, yeah. I will battle you, Trina. Want... How are you doing, Respawn? I kind of want to hide away. Elite Four. Mm. No, nope. oh, wow. you are not yes, a member of the Elite Four, buddy. <laughs> I know the Elite Four, and you are not one of them. But I can. Actually, that's the one thing. We had a gym leader who was the villain in the original generation. So why have we not had a Elite Four member who? in post-game turned out to be the villain. Why has that not been done again? I don't know. Um, um, Pokemon Company fix this with Sword and Shield. Yeah, well, just like I said, we just for us it's just felt like the day's been a lot longer than it should have been. I've been between wanting to nap, not being able to nap. And Susie needing kitty time. Yeah. The kitty's played with their catnip today. With... Um, catnip's on the bedroom floor, so if they want to, they can just oh. easily go play with it. It's not like the default place for the catnip in my house. Yeah, what have you been up to, respawn? when I lie down. Ah, uh, your back's pain. My back needs to... S yeah, my back's just not with it now. Uh, boy. Uh. Yeah, like I say, we're doomed. I think I need fixing a lot more. Uh, you can always go to the body shop and then see if they have any body. You really think I haven't tried that, Susie? I wanted to once and then was afraid I was going to. Can your brothers over the weekend? Shop. Okay. Hello, Pops. Hi, Pop Pop. 
Bop, bop. Your puppy. And finally, we have Surf. It's been so long since we got that. Well, since we needed to get that. It was just like, hey, I think you should have it now. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And Cynthia's here as well. She keeps telling us to do things and she just comes anyway. She magic. She's lazy. So I go give this to my grandma. Oh, I'm going to come here anyway. Even you know, take this to go and deal with some Psyduck. Oh, I'm gonna go there anyway. Just... Nah. <laughs> Cynthia, one of the most awesome trainers there is, but she's terrible when it comes to doing jobs. Oh, dear. Um, no. I know what to do. I know what we will do. Oh. We'll deal with like surf exploration properly next time. Because there's a lot of places to go back through and explore with surf. Yeah. So I'm just going to progress us forwards for now. Yeah, you got anything good going on this week? Then respawn. You know, want to know the most annoying thing because with your username being respawn, I keep wanting to say, "Give us Titanfall 3. <laughs> <laughs> and you made mistakes in selling out to EA. <laughs> The unfortunate things what of are you some of the. Playing with? Um, she's playing with her toys. No, she's just being a kitty. Aww, cute kitty. Oh my god! If you're trying to destroy my crown, please don't. Yeah, you know what? Pop, pop. Yeah. Pop, pop. I need that crown. Pop, pop. Because, you know, curtains. Bop, bop. Being good kitty, playing with the curtain. Bop, bop. Pop, pop's being a very kawaii kitty. She's playing with the curtain. I think she's also telling you you uh, need a new curtain anyway. You. Not in her mind. Yes. When did you get it? Last year. Yeah, it's a year too old. Oh, respawns like oh, kitty. <laughs> Excuse me while I just go find a toy of a squirrel and throw it across Susie's face. I actually saw a baby squirrel today. <gasps> so, that, there was that. May I respawn, uh, you know, um, got anything going on this week? Da -da -da, da -da. And he also says hi. Ah. Hello. This thing has got magma storm. Um, it's not good. Oh, that's not good. Gotta catch up editing video pod. Ah, uh, oh, pity. You out of there. Um, 
Kind of a boring week ahead. I've got to be up early for a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Mm. Excuse me. And by up early, I mean, you know, as in I've got to be up before midday. Yeah. I've got a, my like appointments two. at nine thirty. Oh. Too early. That is too early for you. That is. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I need to do, I, I, it's just too much for me to be up that early. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show up there and just be like, hi, I'm here for the doctor. Can I go home now? Um, can I just go in the room and lie down? <laughs> and sleep. Yeah. And then the doctor comes in and I'm just lying there on the bed fast asleep. If I was there, I'd be like, yeah, this is normal. No, it's not. <laughs> it's normal in your standards. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Wake up! Of course, enemies wake up instantly when they're put to sleep. My Pokemon staying fast asleep for maximum time limit and getting the stuffing kicked out of them. Reasons I hate video games number... Um, I, I've lost count. But yeah, reasons I hate video games. They always a bias against the player. I just need to not die. Why do I Pokemon did you have, buddy? I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah, they're always our po yeah, the player's Pokemon is always asleep, always being afflicted by paralyzation. Um always hits themselves in confusion. Or, you know, not attacking because of attract. I'm actually amazed at the amount of ice attacks I've been hit by in this battle that I hadn't got frozen. Well, that was bound to have happened by now. Yes. Mm hmm. Sorry. Continue. Sorry. Continue. You asked me about sleepiness again, now you're going to go to the corner. Oh, what another small job! Is this area just infested with ice type Pokemon? Probably. Please. Knock it out. Yeah, yeah, I had to go critical hit. Okay, Barbara. Please have enough friendship stat so you evolve into the awesomeness that is Crobat. Because I want a Crobat. Uh, run around in circles. Oh yeah, Crobat is good. I I never actually liked Crobat um, though until Gen 4. 
when they added moves like cross poison. Um, probably because just Gen 2 and 3 just didn't really have the moves to make good use. So, yeah. We have a Crobat. So awesome. Crobat is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So. Though I still love that in um, my Gen 6 and Gen 7 teams, I have a Venusaur that goes faster than a Crobat. Resistant. Well, only because Venusaur's ability is uh, letting it go faster. Yeah. But it's still funny having a Venusaur that goes. Uh, Venusaur's ability is Chlorophyll. Um, well, the hidden ability is Chlorophyll. So, uh, this only really works in double and uh, double and triple battles. Oh, this Magius. Uh, yeah. And Venusaur's speed when doubled, um, at least, you know, base speed. Uh, the base speed stat for Venusaur when doubled becomes the second fastest Pokemon in the game. You know, at least on base stats, so it's kind of funny. But I always send uh, my Venusaur out alongside a Charizard, holding um, the Mega Stone for um, Mega Revolution Y. So I then get intense sunlight triggering Venusaur's hidden ability. And I can then... Well, I then tend to fire off two lots of solar beams in just rapid succession each turn. It's... it's ridiculous. Yeah. Mega Charizard... I, I've just preferred Mega Charizard Y's design from the get-go. And I have a shiny um, Charizard for doing it. So... So yeah, I, I still get to keep the really awesome sort of black color scheme for Charizard when it's when it's in the Y form but yeah I mean as much as I love dragon type Pokemon Mega Charizard X just didn't do it for me plus also um, Mega Charizard X has the problem of Charizard is a special attacker and Mega Charizard X wants to be a physical. Yes, they gave an ability that helps with that, but still. You have to train up your Charmander and Charmeleon to be a physical attacker. Which doesn't work so well for them. Yeah. I mean, I don't really think about that part. It's, um... I don't know. So I don't really think about the whole ground move. I don't play in... Comp uh, no. I do not play in the competitive stuff. There's only ever been friendly battles. But it's just that whole... Um, Mega Charizard. Mega Charizard Y just, just did more for me. Which is why I was disappointed in... Like, when you look at all the media... Uh, oh, well, all the other media for Pokemon. I know it's the media, all like the stuff they release showing off Mega Evolution. They would only show Mega Charizard X. Which was kind of a disappointment for me that they were ignoring the more awesome one. So...
Yep. Though, what is it? Um, actually, yeah, what did Crowback guess is the ability now? Hypercutter. Oh, yes, that's helpful. Um, I would use Drag Ledge on the team, because Drag Ledge I loved. This, you know, with the introduction of um, fairy types, the fact that we got a dragon poison combo was just like, yes. I mean, if I built an entire single themed type team, I would do dragons. But I do, I, I have done it. Uh, dragon lineup with Dragonite, Garchomp, Salamence, Dragledge. Uh, I'm trying to think who else it was I use on it. Hang on. Uh, I don't think who else I was using on them. Um, yeah, because obviously beyond the the obvious uh, members. Uh, Let's see, a Dragonite. Yeah, Dragonite, Salmon, Scarchon. Drag Ledge. Oh, I added Como O to the roster. And I'm gonna say, oh, yeah. Tyrantum. I have a Tarantum with its hidden ability, and that thing just demolishes um, when I use its best move, so yeah, you can get some really good stuff when you do them. I don't tend to do them like through the main game itself, it's just, it's just like when I build teams ready for doing like friendlies. And, oh yeah, and in the uh, Mega Revolution on that team, I would be Mega Revolving. Um, I actually Mega Revolve, I believe it was uh, Salamence. I also do a thing of no legendaries because it gets a little cheap. Though I did just for fun at one point run... Mega Rayquaza, Primal Groundon, and Primal Kyrogue. Because that was just funny. Uh. Yeah. I am looking forward to the uh, direct next week where we find out more things. So, the more Pokemon they reveal in it, the better. I mean, I don't want too many new Pokemon for the generation. I think I think that's the one thing that X that um, X, Y, Sun and Moon did well was minimal additions. And then you know, doing stuff to revitalize older Pokemon with the Mega Revolutions in X and Y, although yes, they did it on more than just um, Kanto, actually they did it on all genera various generation Pokemon. And then... Um, Sun and Moon, you know, revitalized some Kanto era Pokemon. So maybe revitalize some Johto Pokemon because, oh boy, Johto Pokemon need the help in some areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah see I'm not that good on things like that, so I haven't done like those sort of themes. When it comes to just playing through the game normally, I'll just, I do a catch em all run. So I will go for completing the decks. Um, so I train everything, <laughs> at least until fully, ev fully evolved. And uh, I then 
you know, use only the ones I like. Not necessarily always Pokemon that people view as good. But I have, you know, just Pokemon I like and then I adapt the team based on the gym. Just don't ask me too much about that because I don't know most of them. I don't know that many. Even the river ash. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, apart from like the really major ones. Although we could name some just people we know celebrity wise names. Who we yeah. think are probably important to the history of this country. For at least one thing they did. Like, uh, pretty much everyone who was on Robot Wars. <laughs> Send Razor. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, sending the Watt. Oh yeah, and the Watts kids. I got so confused there because like... No, uh, Joe and what's her name? Watt. Joe and Ellie. Joe and Ellie Watts. Yeah, those two. They were lovely. They still actually are lovely. Yeah. Let's save off. Well, obviously, Dick and Dom. Who would just oh, keep damn. you entertained on uh, weekend mornings. Yeah. Um, I think we can say Alex Horn. <laughs> Just because down, of the yeah. just because of the stuff he has to put up with as on Taskmaster. Oh my god! And it, it, it's his TV show, at least I as know. the creator of it. Yeah, it's just like hey. Yeah, I think yeah, all the chasers. Oh, definitely. Bradley, Richard, <gasps> Alexander. Yeah, thinking of knights, kings, and queens. Uh, Victoria, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, because we've had two of them. Um, um, there's eight Henrys. Uh, I think two Georges. We know what happened to one of them. Yeah. Um, well, there was William. There was a William, but then, yeah. Uh, technically, he was French, so. Um, uh, I can't think of any of the other kings and queens of our country. That tells you something. Did you mention Mary? Ah, but she was Queen of Scots. Uh, because remember, there used to be a separate monarchy for Scotland. Yeah. Oh, James. Oh, we can never forget James. Because that's when the monarchies of um, Scotland and England merged. Yeah. Because there was no, there was no, there was no one to inherit the throne in England. So the nobles of England went to Scotland and gave uh, James the throne of England, and that's when Scotland and England were united under a monarchy. Huh. Yeah, I. Okay, I know I normally avoid po politics, but yeah, can I? Yeah, I just love it when the SNP go on about, oh yeah, you know, England forcefully took over. It's like, no, that's not what happened. We kind of needed somebody. We, we gave the monarchy, you know, at the time the country was ruled by the monarchy, and the nobles of England were like, do you want to rule two countries rather than one? <clears throat> And they said yes, so, you know, t technically England was taken over by Scotland. Oh, 
Yeah, I, I think this is the pro one thing that like history lessons do. They don't focus on your own history. They focus on history everywhere else. That is... That is mm. Which is just like, it's funny at the same time because you know when people try, you know, doing like citizenship tests, they have to know the history of the country they're taking citizenship for. Yeah. So people who have emigrated to the country and becoming a citizen of it tend to know more about the country's history than someone who is naturally from the country. They do. It's, it's, kind of it's embarrassing. It is. Anyway, uh, all that sort of weirdness aside, that is it on tonight. So oh god, I just ran out of time! Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow is Dark Souls with at least Susie. Hello. Uh, don't know if Alex will be around. I think he will because of what we're doing. Yeah, but obviously depends on what uni is oh. doing. And also, you know, university internet. Good point. His internet just really doesn't like us. Well, it doesn't like the switch. No, I don't. So we'll see that. Um, I'm on Nab's. Ch well, we sh we both should be on Nab's channel later, playing Dark Souls. Yes, we should. Uh, Mystery Wednesday. I will work that out on Wednesday, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Then Star Wars on Thursday and Saints Row on Friday. Uh, on Wednesday, we'll, I'll also be covering the news from the Pokemon press conference. I'm going to be staying up really, really late tomorrow night. If you want, I can stay up late as well. I can be But I was about to say, you're usually not in bed till what, 4 a.m.? Well, the last couple of nights has been 10 a.m. No, sorry, 5 a.m. 10 a.m.? Yep. Yeah. I know my time. Um, well, I don't think they're going to give us much about Sword and Shield in the press conference uh, tomorrow night. I think that no. that's obviously going to be in direct. I think the press conference is just going to be more about other projects so like new stuff for the anime so probably announcing like a new film or something mm. new announcements for the trading card game maybe new licensing deals you know all that sort of stuff that nothing that's sword and shield related they might give like a quick reminder about sword and shield but yeah because what's the point of having this press conference and then the direct the week after. So. And they did say in the press conference fr thing, it is going to deal with the Pokemon. F it's going to be about the Pokemon franchise. So. Yeah. yeah I think it's, it's going to be more, this is all this stuff we're doing with the franchise. So, yeah. Anyway, anyone that's new, follow on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. Links between each other below. And um, oh I think we um, need one thing to be done before we go. What? Kitties. Jump on Susie and make her scream. They're asleep. Oh, kitties, you failed. Nope. You had one job, kitties. One job. Nay, nay.